morning folks welcome to dogman homestead my name is mike i've been at it since the sun came up uh, and uh what i did i took down all these lowered them two inches let me show you what i did the problem i was running into is that is a 11 inch board instead of a 2 by 12 lumber is never what <laughs> you think it is like a two by six it's actually one and a half by five and a half and for some whatever reason and i know that shut up waddles for whatever reason i didn't account for that uh so two two of those two by sixes equal 11 well the whole board's 11 so i had to cut two inches off see how i tapered that down and i lowered everything two inches and before anybody says things aren't secure everything is lag bolted in here look at this this structure will not budge very secure did the same thing here and all the way down and that's the way it will be and these are five and a half inch long lag bolts they go all the way through all right let me address something else there seems to be some confusion on what i'm doing here so i'm going to explain this one more time uh this gopro is notorious for shooting clips and then i go to put them on the editor and they're freezing they just froze you know they're frozen <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that or anybody else has had that issues with gopros but i explained this a few times and all right here's what's going on just imagine this is going to be just a screened in porch okay don't don't think about the deck up there well, you're gonna have to have a slanted roof or any kind of roof you'd wanna put on it, right? Okay, that's what we have here on the lower part. That is the screened in porch. All right, now I'll say, hey man, that's a cool screened in porch, but you know what? I'd like to put me a that deck upstairs. Well, that's what I'm doing here. The deck goes across. I'm not putting up two roofs. Oh, lumber call. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, that was the uh, lumber place calling, saying they're about 30 minutes away. So, what what I was saying, I have watched, I have looked at this for several years. I planned it out in my mind. I wasn't sure if I was going to build back here or build on the side, but I've I've already had this planned out for years. Trust me, I am not going to invest thousands of dollars on this to do something wrong. And I do like getting people suggestions sometimes I even use them but I have had this planned out I do got experience with this so all I can say is wait till wait till the end wait till you see what I'm doing if you see something dangerous I did let me know but otherwise <laughs> we're in the beginning stages here and and I know it could be confusing but let me get it done all right guys I got lumber coming hopefully I'm gonna start stringing these uh See, I get tongue-tied when I get filming uh, the floor joists for the decking. The joist hangers will be here tomorrow. And yes, I'm putting joist hangers on both ends of the deck, but not on the roof. It ain't necessary on the roof. I will nail through this board, and I'll probably have joist hangers on that wall. Maybe not. Like I said before, there's not going to be a lot of weight on this. So its main purpose is just a roof and for when the water drip trickles down through the deck and no I'm not using plywood for a deck nobody does that uh, where would the water go I have to come out there with a mop every time it rains that's that, that's not done I'm doing a standard traditional deck with deck boards so I just wanted to clear those things up guys uh, you know I enjoy everybody watching and I am by no means uh, a professional or an expert but I do know a few things, so let me get going on this. All right, let's get some lumber in here. And I got a new ladder coming. All right, guys, I'm marking out my 16 on center marks. I had to lag bolt there, I had to move. That happens. I should have looked, should have marked this out before I even uh, put those in. Luckily, that was the only one I hit. I should be here in a minute. I'm casual today, man. Everything's in the washer. 
I've got my cozy shorts on. I've told you before, do not get in my way, son. Oh, levels. You, you can't teach them nothing, man. Oh. It sure looks like it's clouding up the rain. I'm taking a chance and I ain't covering nothing. That'll wait till the lumber gets here. I'm going to have to take probably a day off this and mow the grass and weed eat because it is getting out of hand. And hopefully we'll get this roof on. We are expecting bad weather next week. Storms. And I want this roof on so I'm going to be putting in some hours. I mean, if it rains in here now, everything is treated, so it's not going to hurt anything. But we'll have these uh, decks up in an hour or so, and the deck joist, and we'll start on getting this roof going. But I'm ready. I just got my lumber delivery. Got all my treated uh, joist boards and two by fours. We got some more of the T111. I got to quit bumping this thing. And a brand new ladder. Isn't that cool? Well, well not as pretty as not as pretty as that old one, huh? I won't be losing that. Alright guys, let's start uh, stringing some joists. I'll be back. Oh. It's probably going. You got a brand new ladder. What are you getting on that for? Well, it's just easy. Easy to move. But you say he just a friend, but you say he just a friend. And that's why I was a drill sergeant. Get it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, these are some tough Tough little drills. Watch this. Come on out of there. All right, I took that end down because I didn't like it wasn't level. So I took both them boards on the deck joist down, redid them, got all my lag bolts in, everything secure, get them in here, and we're going to start laying some deck joists. So stand by. Got my Sean James hat on. I got to shape it like he does, man. I can't get it that cool. 
Works good for the sun, man. I am getting ready to hang the joist. Let me go around and show you how I secured this deck up there. Now, everything's secured with these, I think they're five inch lag bolts. Over here in the corners, I've got the metal plates on each side there. And I got one there. It's also four lag bolts. You can't see the other two, but they're there. Four lag bolts going into the beam. Right here, same thing. Got lag bolts. That board was a little split at the top, so I had to go a little lower with that one. Same thing over here. I got three metal support brackets. One's on the other side. Uh, those are high strength screws that those are put in there with. And these are going to have joist hangers. They'll be here tomorrow, but I'm going to go ahead and hang these. What I'm going to do is going to string a board all the way across. So when I just I can just lay the joist up here, toe nail it in with one nail, and then when the joist hangers come tomorrow, we'll get that in. So there isn't too many of them. It shouldn't take me too long. So let's get going on that. I just wanted to show everybody that you know this thing ain't going to fall. And if it even did, if it ever did, it would only fall a couple feet. Cause there's going to be a roof here which it's only me here i mean this believe me this is going to be very strong this whole structure since i've secured it oh it just it doesn't move a bit it's strong and the joists will even strengthen it up strengthen it up more so all right i'm getting ready to get on it i'm you know i'm really enjoying this build it's uh in a long it's been a long time coming that this end of the house has been useless and shut off so even when it had that old laundry room i wouldn't go in there because it was full of mold so i tore that down a couple years after i bought the place and uh, it's been sitting like this ever since so it's going to be nice to come out that door and uh you know if i happen to be up there i don't have to go down go to the bathroom just go right off the balcony you know what i'm saying <laughs> don't say you ain't never done that uh it's, it's actually fun all right let's get this bill going all right i got everything marked off uh as you can see and for those of you don't don't know the two lines on the outside of the line that's because you're centering the board on on that line that long line and so i always put them there to avoid putting them on the wrong spot uh let me show you here a lot of people don't know i mean a lot of people know but a lot of people don't know on every tape measure every 16 inches is red for those of you that don't have any you know much experience that are building i know some homesteaders that are doing this and if you'll lay this if you'll just run your tape measure you'll see every 16 inches you got a red mark so you can just you know go down the line and mark out all the red dots and then you're 16 on center I couldn't do it that way because I'm on a ladder. I just had to go every 16 inches mark it with my square. So I'll show you what I got here. I built a little, like a little shelf to set up, set my uh, joist on. That way they won't fall. I'll run down to this end, put a couple nails in the end of it, and those will get the joists when they come in tomorrow. So got my first one cut. Let's get on it. Know what I'm saying? Let's get on it. Everyone knows it's windy. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, it's windy. Here goes the first one. You go there. You go there, don't you move, slick, don't you move. Well, I should have ran my air hose and stuff before I turned the gas on. Oh, 
check for sure. I guess we're almost halfway there uh, I'm not filming doing this because not even in uh, time lapse because I'm taking so many breaks uh, there wouldn't wouldn't be enough for uh, even a time lapse so I'm just taking my time but I am gonna get these all on here next thing you see it'll be me saying hey man they're all done On the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat And learn to ride and steer When my feet had touched dry land How happy I did feel Saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river bank, heard the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. Tomorrow, reckon I don't know where I'll be. But if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'd be back in Tennessee. Playing cards and crap games, not looking for the score. And if I ever get back home again, I'll never own no Time boys, listen to my song. May not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy your 
yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and settle And just like that, all them boards was up there. We got them all up, guys. Oh man, I'm whooped. That was, uh, most of them I had to bring back down, maybe shave a little bit off here and there, you know. But for, for the most part, they were all pretty much the same length. So that's how I know I'm good and square. And, uh, so we got that, man. Makes a heck of a difference. So, I'm going to go in and rest a while, edit this video. I'm going to come out here and get some of this lumber situated because i got to leave in the morning. And I don't want it to be out sitting out like, hey man, come get me. So uh, we're going to get in and get out of this 92 degrees. It's hot, but this hat helps. So, all right guys. Woo! Can't see. If you like my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike be honest i'm doing my best here uh we're getting we're getting some progress made now so tomorrow i think i don't think them joists are going to be here till afternoon ups don't usually come till afternoon but i'll probably frame out around the bottom of this screened in porch and uh because i don't want to put up the ceiling joists for that yet until I can get up there and work and get all these leveled up and adjusted. And they're all, I, I leveled them as I went, but I'll have to readjust them a little more. All right, guys, this video is getting a little long. Uh, happy trails. <laughs>